Hi everyone, Liam here from Gaming on Linux. I have another tutorial for you today in desktop mode on the Steam Deck on how to use the Heroic Games Launcher for Epic Games. You can also use this for GOG, GOG.com, but there's a couple of issues still there, so we're just going to focus on Epic for now. For this, you need three projects. You need Legendary, Heroic Games Launcher, and the Heroic Bash Launcher. All of those are available on GitHub, and links to each will be in the description. So what you need to do is download each of them and then we're going to launch the Heroic launcher. From Heroic, as a test, I'm going to download and demo for you Rocket League. Now, to make it actually work inside of Steam, there are a few extra steps that you need to take, which is why we needed those two other projects. Inside the settings of the Heroic Games launcher, what you need to do is set on alternative legendary binary. Legendary is one of the things we downloaded earlier. And you can see it on the settings page. It's very, very clear. All you need to do is find that file that you downloaded. So just go to your downloads, pick legendary, and then hit choose. Once your game is downloaded, you can go into the game settings that will then appear and choose whatever version of Proton supplied by Steam that you want. It might only work with a specific version. For this, I'm just using Proton 7. But what you also need to do is in your downloads folder, make sure you set legendary in the permissions section of the properties menu to is executable, the tick box. Otherwise, your system won't actually be able to launch it. After you've done that, what you need to do is use the heroic bash launcher. Now, this is a very simple script that will just set up little launcher files for whatever you have installed inside of the Heroic Launcher. All you need to do is run it and it will tell you when it's done and then it makes little launch scripts in the game folder. You need to repeat that anytime you install something new because then it will generate that launching file. Then all you need to do is add the launch script to Steam by the games menu at the top and then add an on Steam game or if you're in the full big Steam client mode there's a big add game button in the bottom left of your client. You can't miss it. Then I'm just going to show you it working in Steam. And as a quick added bonus at the end, I'm going to show you actually running it in hand. I hope you found this guide useful. There'll be a lot more to come.